Right now, it's a couple of minutes past nine and we're going to start the second debate. Um, Jeff, before we start, can you just, for the sake of those who came late, can you give us a brief introduction of what MOP stands for, our values, and um, let the people know why we are here this evening. Thank you. Uh, I want to welcome you all once again uh, for being here. And um, for all of us, MOP is, MOP is a movement of the people. And like it's in the name, the movement of the people. MOP is about the people. So we're here to make sure that just like we're doing with this debate, what we're trying to do is to make sure that we spark that consciousness and we grow a movement of people that will change Nigeria for the better. And this is what we're doing here. And this is part of MOP's initiative to people to have this kind of discourse where we talk about philosophy, we talk about culture, we talk about social issues, and we talk about life because that's everything that makes us who we are. We're Africans and we're looking for a way out of this oppression. And MOP, uh, this debate society would have uh, subsequent debates and we're urging you all to uh, tune in whenever we have uh, any debate event. We'll always have our, uh, if you're not following us on social media, please do that. Uh, we'll drop our handles in the chat. And if you're interested in joining us, if you're not uh, one of us, uh, we welcome you. Please join us. Uh, we have our Telegram link. We'll also post. So even for our members here, please, 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 we urge you all to follow us on social media because we have a lot of content and we put out a lot of things every day. And we also give our own position on certain issues concerning the nation. So please follow us, like, and then let's work together to make sure that we grow this country and uh, things will get better. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, the first uh, part of the, the debate is done and then we move into the second part now. And I'll hand over uh, back to Fantastic, Jeff. Thank you for that. All right. Um, please, I would like to remind us, if you're not speaking, your mic should be off. For those of you who have your hands up, um, you can kindly put them down now. It's not time to contribute yet. Um, the second debate for tonight says, is the Nigerian constitution really a problem of Nigeria? Now we have four speakers. Uh, we have engineer Malcolm Ndubisi. Um, we, Okadibu, we have Emmanuel Bassi. We have Abiyoye Bankole and Chukwemeka Uzuchuku Ogugua Umosu. Um, I'd like to believe that all four speakers are in the house right now. And if you are in the house, kindly turn on your camera and introduce yourselves. Starting with engineer Malcolm Undubiso. Yes, hello. Hello, please. Hello. I would like the speakers to turn on their cameras, please. Uh uh, sorry, oh, uh, my name is Malcolm Okadibo. Uh, I hope the house is hearing me. Yes, where we live for Abujana, where we live for Abujana, no lights, no lights there, Yana. So I want those day streets, no right. lights for Yana, uh, no lights. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to introduce myself. I'm happy to be in the house today. I appreciate the house so much. Uh, first of all, my opening statement, I say. Uh, sorry, I sorry, don't uh, Malcolm, it's, it's just yes, sir. Not, not time for the Yes, yeah. all right, okay, for my game, okay, Malcolm, engineer Malcolm Ndubisi Okadibo. Okay. Uh, I'm the son of the late Chubo Okadibo, I'm the second son, and uh, we are, I, I'm happy to be in the house, thank you very much. Thank you, engineer Malcolm. Um, in yes. now, Barsi, if you're in the house, kindly turn on your camera and introduce yourself. Okay, uh, my name is Emmanuel Bassi, and I'm glad to be in the house. I'm also having some power issues, so here it's very, it's very dark here also. Apologies for that. This is why, this is why we need to see. Uh, this is evidence. <laughs> All right, also for that. Um, and then we have um, Abiyui Bankole. Please kindly introduce yourself. Good, good evening, comrades. My name is Adnan Bakole, and it's a pleasure to be on the panel to speak to you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Abiyoye. And finally, we have Chukwemeka Izuchuku Ogugwa Ngusu. 
please introduce yourself. Yeah, good evening, house. I'm Oguwa Ngozi Chukwemeka Isichuku. Yeah. All right, um, I am going to go over the structure of the debate real quick. Um, each speaker is allocated, I'm sorry, if you're not on mute, kindly do that right away so we avoid distractions. Each speaker is allocated a maximum of seven minutes for an opening statement. Um, each side would have a chance to press counter arguments and questions to the opposing sides. Um, while that is ongoing, the audience can submit their questions in the chat and that will be revisited in a bit. Um, if time permits, the audience can make contributions, can ask questions, um, after which each speaker is allocated a maximum of one minute for their closing statements. And very importantly, all speakers and audience shall observe the rules laid out in this platform. Um, I'd like to remind us this is not a competition. There are no winners, no losers. There are, it's, it's actually just a discussion. We're all here to learn. Let's respect each other, no harsh words. And rebuttal should not be personal. You know, you should address the points made and the contents expressed. Um, and although this is a political organization, this is not a political debate. This is just an intellectual uh, discussion. And without further ado, I'd like to invite engineer Malcolm Undubisi of Kadibu for his opening statement. Seven minutes, please. Your time starts now. Thank you very much, Ulu. Uh, uh, not we say back career What the mean is you don't like close to the house. If you like close to the house, you know both boxing and lie you the constitution group. That the people seek in the first place first. First of all, we're we'll not get constant. Uh, if the matter, now story, uh, a little talk, that get constitution waiting the bridge. Why it's made for us? Now story that but we get given with it for 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 like, just carry are now story they get. They just arrange story carry control for people. Now it is simple. You don't say you have something that you don't have in the first place. You are bringing it, you are bringing something inside that doesn't exist in the first place. You are telling us that you want us to be this. Then you brought another paper and brought it and put it there. You know, today I posted something. I posted something today on the group. Then somebody asked me, say. With questions, said, like, what it be this? I say, now the paper, where we say will be on a paper. Oh. The paper, no, they exist. They just arrange documents, package documents, they together for inside the, I don't know whether the CIA or the FBI or whoever they were together at that time. When they try to talk, say that they fight civic Nigeria, get uh, uh, independence, they just package paper, carry con drop. Say, now if the constitution want to use the work, the first thing they tell you say, we the people. I don't know how many of the people that were inside that office that were arranging this document. But the truth is this, they don't arrange any document. They just package themselves. They package themselves and then drop it. This is why people like us stood down and looked at everything and said, we must do NSAS protest. I know what I've gone through here and i've seen some things in our fct and i understand that we are lying to ourselves here in this country nobody's telling himself the truth i don't want to push my opening statement i'm not going to reach the seven minutes but i want to tell you in the first place the paper where they bring out where i don't post for group anybody will start from page 15 make it open them where I post them, the way they say we the people, you go here in the visible, in the soluble, sovereign nation. That grammar is not in any constitution in the US or France or Colombia or even 
so we don't even have you can't be telling people that you must stay you must do this no 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 it doesn't work like that there are part certain things you do and then when you begin to go down the the so-called paper where i post i called my sister that is in uh, kaduna she's a barrister i said is this the constitution that we are using she now replied me and said yes i said please make you not try to jail anybody with this constitution except the person that killer rapist uh, boko haram but any other thing you're not supposed to use this paper put person for for inside prison because you they go hell fire thank you very much for my opening statement be that no Allah, no shaking thank you very much thank you very much <laughs> thank you for that Andrew, uh -huh. welcome. um yes, I'd, yes. I'd like to say that your audio wasn't very audible so perhaps before you come back oh. to speak if you can fix it a bit I okay mean, it's a struggle to hear you at times but anyways thank you for that. all right all right um Emmanuel Bassi, you're going to speak next. Now the floor is yours. Okay. Um, thank you very much. I must appreciate uh, the first speaker who has begun in a very hilarious uh, manner. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. First, I would um, open by saying that from the very first uh, time, as a, as a Nigerian, that I became able to contemplate um, politics and the political principles. I've, I've always wondered how it's possible for, for, for good leaders to be able to manage a society using a bad document. It will be better when good people manage a society or a country using good documents. So what I want to disagree is that this document itself, the document in question here is the constitution. It's one that requires changes, it's one that requires rectification. There are a lot of problems that are inherent in this document as we have it. So these debates the long run will serve as an opportunity for us, you know, to create this new document that we wish to see, this new document that we can work with. At least we are doing this at the time. At least we are doing this at a time when we are at. At least we are doing this at a time when the country is not at war. It's a time of peace. So it's a good time for us as a people to really discuss and engage in debates on how we can create a new document that can be beneficial to us. Of course, the 1999 constitution was there. We all know how it came. We have had other document before now. This 1999 constitution, some will argue is better than document that had been provided before now. However, however, what we have, we can is not is not um is not enough. We deserve better. We are not there yet, but we deserve better. In this document. There are a lot of insufficiency in these constitutions. In this particular document, there are seeds, there are seeds of anarchy. There are things that could that could trigger anarchy in this particular document. It is for this reason that today I wish in this discussion we're able to look at these particular things and declare these documents problematic is either we replace or we do draft the document that, as a whole. We must address the problems that has plagued us for over 60 years since our independence. We must address it instead of allowing this moratorium of silence that has shadowed us 
over time. We won't keep silent. We would encourage debates like this so that we would address it and we'll air our opinions. Even if the even if the constitution itself had denied us the right of expression, this debate has given us the platform to express ourselves. For this reason, I urge you to I urge you to, as this debate progresses, for us to see reasons to amend and replace this constitution. Otherwise, we will lose ourselves to a new type of monarchy. In fact, an elected one, which is, in my view, more dangerous. So that, that is my opening. Uh, All right. Thank you, thank you um, for that opening statement, Emmanuel Bassi. Um, I'd like to urge the speakers, um, for those who are uh, who have power problems as soon as that has been rectified please turn on your cameras so the audience can resonate with your points more um next i am going to call on abiyi bankali um yes the floor is yours thank you uh, moderator really um before we start let's even ask ourselves this constitution we're talking about what is it what is the definition so allow, allow me to read from, you know, where it's written. The constitution is a set of fundamental principles that constitute the legal basis of a state and commonly determines how the peoples of the state want to be governed. That's what a constitution is, right? A set of documents that defines how the people want to be governed. And I've been asked to speak on the topic, is the Nigerian constitution really a problem of Nigeria, right? And the answer is no. If you said, um, is the Nigerian constitution perfect? I will tell you categorically no. So let's look at the life cycle of, of a typical constitution. Constitutions are meant to be amended when you determine or you see flaws in them, right? So does the Nigerian constitution need amendment? Absolutely. Going down memory lane, the first constitution that Nigeria had was 1946, right? Um, the McPhersons and the Westminsters and co. And then we've had nine constitutions since then with the 1999 constitution being the last uh, substantive constitution we have. And since that 1999 constitution, we've had four amendments, right? So there's a process to improve your constitution, right? So that is number one. Number two is that if you want to improve your constitution, who's supposed to do it? It's the people. What's stopping us from changing it? It's not the government that changes the constitution. So when, you, when people complain that, oh, the government is this, the government is that, it's not the elected officials. It's the people, um, the body that's supposed to write or improve the constitution is the constituent assembly comprised of people that are not in government. So if the constitution is a problem, what is stopping the people from rewriting it? In other words, the people is the problem. They are not ready to recommend the improvements. Show me a new constitution that has been proposed by any group of Nigerians. Has it been submitted to the national assembly or whatever body that's supposed to review and pass it, I've not seen it, right? We hear a lot of noise, but we don't see people organizing to bring, back, to bring about change. Now, let's even look at the problems that have been pointed out in the current constitution. One of them is federal character. Now, let, how did federal character make, make its way into the constitution? We have to go back to the 1963 constitution that a lot of people have said is the best constitution we've ever had. If it was the best constitution, it had regional autonomy, it had everything, had everything, why did the first republic fail just three years after that constitution came into play? It's because even though it was a very good constitution, the people messed up and the people are still messing up today. We sit in our houses and we, we perform armchair analysis, right? But we fail to register to vote. We failed to go out to vote. The first topic was uh, it, 
does poverty influence uh, um I, I can't remember very clearly maybe political participation political very conscience. Sad. Yes. thank you it's very sad that in nigeria today that the poor are more active in politics than the comfortable or, or the rich the poor know that they are hungry so they go out there and try to solve a problem by looking for the highest bidder because they don't know anybody to trust maybe they are involved and they are doing it for the wrong reasons but they are still showing up what about the rest of us that claim to be educated and don't show up right so the people that are educated and are not contributing to improve this country are the problem the people that um, um cherry pick aspects of the constitution that favors them and ignore the part that favors the, uh, the rest of the people are the problem now let's look at this constitution we are attacking okay so i was talking about federal character one of the reasons the federal character uh, principle made it into the constitution was because of the very regional um stance the parties of the first republic took we had an Awolowo party that was catering to the to the west we had an amadu Bello party catering to the north so it was very difficult for the country to stand as one and that is why federal character came into play where it says that each political party must have to touch representation across the country and then when you are employing people into uh, um, government offices it also has to reflect you know majority of nigerians and not just one aspect let's look at that that is in the constitution and it says that uh, it should be collected by um, the state government but even though it's in the constitution or rather in the laws of the, of the land the federal government has, has been collecting it and nobody has been batting an eyelid in other words no matter how good the constitution is if the government doesn't want to follow it they won't it goes back to the people inside our constitution there's freedom of expression expression freedom of freedom of life a lot of freedoms that we are denied today even though they are clearly defined in the constitution so if the constitution was 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 the problem of nigeria all those things in the constitution um if would uh how do i want to say it? if the if the constitution was the problem of nigeria if the if a, if a perfect constitution or everything was that was supposed to be in the constitution was there that doesn't guarantee that the government of the day will follow it because they don't follow what is the current constitution anyways especially the, especially the best parts of it you know so you have to look at it carefully and remember that at the end of the day the the, the constitution is a document written by the people that can be modified by the people that can be amended by the people and if the people fail to do their part if they fail to be involved if they fail to constitute themselves into a constituent assembly and propose something better, then when you say we should uh, um, abandon this constitution, then are we going to leave a vacuum? What are we going to replace it with? I'm yet to see that better constitution. You know. So based on what I've said so far, I, I insist or I, I, I respond to the question, is the Nigerian constitution really a problem of Nigeria? No, they are more important there are bigger problems that Nigeria needs to solve. And when we solve them, we will solve the problem of the constitution. Thank you. Thank you for that, Abiyu. That was a brilliant one. Thank you. And um, last speaker, Ogugwa Umosu Chukwemeka. Please, the floor is yours. Yeah. Good evening, House, right? So I'm here to speak on the topic is the constitution of Nigeria a problem, right? So I personally feel that the constitution of Nigeria is, is the least of the problems we have in Nigeria, right? So when, when I've had these discussions many times with my peers and friends, right? They tell me constitution this, constitution that, right? That the constitution is their problem, right? So the first thing that comes to my mind is that these um these other countries these other african countries that that their system is working so to say what does their constitution look like right so um, months ago i took my time to go through the nigerian constitution and personally i was very impressed i was like do we actually have these in our constitution why is no one why why is it not being activated right so i did a um 
a quick um, comparison. I downloaded the constitution of South Africa because when you talk of African countries that, that are working, you talk about South Africa, Rwanda, Kenya, right? And I, I put it to us that most people that are even saying that this constitution is a problem, this constitution is a problem, they have not sat down to read it, right? So I did this comparison and I, I was very impressed that Personally, I feel like what we have as the Nigerian constitution is far better than what these countries are using. And their country is working perfectly. Okay, sorry, no, maybe not perfectly, but if you compare it to what we have in Nigeria, you can say that their systems are working perfectly. Here is it when um, people talk about this constitution, like they will just highlight that these um, um exclusive read list and concurrent read list that they will say that why should the constitution is our problem why should the constitution say that and um, make policing a federal issue right so the state uh, the, um, the constitution should make um, policing an internal state um, magana magana right so here is it uh, the constitution states clearly that the governor of the state is the chief executive officer, chief um, security officer of the state, right? So we even had from the um, Lakey report that we had some days ago, that it was the governor of Lagos State that um, called the soldiers to come and shoot at toll gate, according to the report, right? And let me bring it down to here in um, Plateau State where I live, right? We, we have a, sec a security architecture that we call Operation Rainbow. This Operation Rainbow is totally controlled by the states. It's made up of um, the army, the uh, mobile police, DSS, NDLA, and um, civil defense, right? So the state governor has total control over what Operation Rainbow does, right? So um, that's one point. And most people will say that, um, like our first speaker said that, um, the Constitution of Nigeria is saying that we, the people of Nigeria, that that is a kind of a fallacy that the people of Nigeria we are never involved in the writing of the constitution. I beg to differ from that, right? So, um, let's let's take a quick example from um, USA, United States of America, where we see as the pillar or big big brothers of uh, modern day democracy, right? The constitution of USA was. Written, not written by more than six people, led by James Madison, um, Madison, right? But what happened? They wrote this constitution and they brought it out to the people and the people accepted it. The 1999 constitution was written under uh, Abu Salam's administration and our National Assembly, as we had it then, accepted it. So I don't get the, the, the idea that the Nigerian people were never involved in the writing of the constitution. If the, if the representatives that we have in the National Assembly and all of them were democratically elected by the people, right, to then represent them, and all of them in the National Assembly say that this is a constitution we would work with, how will you say that the people are not involved, right? So, yeah, yeah, so like uh, my um, my first speaker at Prof have already said, like listed most of the points, right? So constitution of Nigeria is list of the problems we are facing now, right? Even if you get this best constitution, USA constitution, drop it in Nigeria, we would we won't even last with that constitution, right? Our constitution to an extent is is okay, right? Just that we the people the people fail to hold our government accountable to the to 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 lead by the constitution can the constitution be amended yeah from 1999 till now we've had like four amendments right it can be amended but saying that the constitution we have today is the problem yeah i disagree with that yeah that's my opening statement thank you Thank you for that um, brilliant um, Uzuchuku. All right, this is the time for rebuttals. And I'm going to highlight some of the points that were made 
um, by those speaking against the motion. And this is to address those speaking for the motion. Uh, just to remind us, the motion is, is the Nigerian constitution really a problem of Nigeria? Right, so my question um, is directed at those speaking for engineer Malcolm Ndubisi, Okadubu, and Emmanuel Basi. Um, those speaking against um, Abiyu Bankole highlighted a couple of points that there are cogent policies and laws in the Nigerian constitution which, are, which aren't just being implemented. So perhaps the constitution isn't a problem or is it a leadership problem, those not executing what it says. And Chukwebeka went ahead and reiterated, he elaborated on the points made by Abiyu. He said um, the 1999 constitution we have was made by the people. You know, um, the administration then led by Abdul Salam was assisted by the assembly, general assembly then, and the people were there. Um, he made an example of state policing and how even governments have the right to call on um, certain law enforcement agency to act in accordance. I mean, this is just, just to highlight some of the things that some of the powers that the constitution has. Um, so, um, Engineer Malcolm and Emmanuel Bassi, um, your rebuttal starts now. You have three minutes. First, I want to call on Engineer, um, Engineer Malcolm Okadibo. The house, the floor is yours. Engineer Malcolm, are you there? If you're not there, um, Emmanuel Bassi, you can go ahead. All right. Yeah. Hello. I'm here. Hello. Hello, Engineer Malcolm. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Please go ahead and please make sure your audio uh, is, is is clear because it seems like it's still a bit. All right. Please go ahead. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, we can. Olu, can you hear me? We can hear you. Please go ahead. Thank you very much, Olu. Uh, Please, the page where I post for there. You know why I like this broken English? Because it is always helping us when we want to do some direct uh, uh, explanation of things. It's not that we cannot speak English. Mm, the English is for the lawyers to speak. Inside that paper where Emeka uh, Chukwu Emeka, they talk. Mm, the Lord of Bishops already, they say, people sovereignty, page 24, the one where I place for group. They say people sovereignty belong to the people. Na lie. They don't give us sovereignty. First time one, na lie. Big lie. And they were talking about 1940-something, 1960-something uh, election, uh, 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 constitution. That one, a story. I'm talking about the one that they are using to operate now. The one they are using to operate now is not helping anybody, and it is the problem. It is part of the problem. Now, the truth is this. When you say, say, we will get sense, we will not pass that. No, Kura, no vessel. I want to use small, foul language because I vex. How will you arrange court case, courts, courts, courts? You say, okay, we want to follow the American court system. What to do? When I posted that court system, somebody asked me. The person did not see what he saw there. There is something they wrote there and they brought Sharia inside the matter. We are all Northerners. We grew up here. We saw the package they brought again. They went and put Sharia court, FCT, Abuja. Now, let me tell you, appeal court, FCT, Abuja, they are not even straightforward in the first place. Oh, na lie. Then they say something for the constitution for page uh, 25, where I put to A and B. They say to harness resources and economy, so freedom and happiness for every citizen. Then they say they package them, say they're written, they write it there. Please, Zamfara is running their goal, though. Is Uchuku and uh, Chuku Emeka. You know what I'm talking about. They are running their gold. Then in the south, where we are from, because we always talk, everybody must say where they are from. They say, how about people say it? So if you said, you go answer your papa name. Where we come from, the oil is for everybody. In fact, most of the oil wells belong to these people. This is the same constitution that protects them. But it doesn't protect them. Then they tell you, say, federal character. Then they want to do education. When they give my daughter cut-off mark of 200 or something to 
enter inside secondary school. They give somebody from Sokoto, they give them cut off mark of 13 or 23. The same constitution protects them. They say it's federal character. We have two laws. They say they are doing Sharia law in one place. Then they say they are doing constitution in this center. But the Southerners should follow the center. We don't talk about these things and keep quiet. We talk about it so we address it. We have lived here, we have worked here, and we know that this thing is not working. And people are shouting that we should, uh, we don't want to go. Or uh, that two people now say they want to go. They say, no, they should not go. That, uh, in fact, Baba went to the last time when he went. Let me not talk what he talked there. That one is story. Constitution is simple. Like he said, it's authority that was set for people to work together as brethren, as family. Why not everybody follow one? You don't give me another law somewhere else and tell me to follow another law somewhere else. It is wrong. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't go well anywhere. That is why I said what they brought as a document is fake and it is not good and it is a problem. It is the problem of this country. Hello. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you very much. I know I'm close. I'm three minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Back. Right. Basi can, can continue. Basi um, can continue. Yes. Uh -huh. Governor Basi, you have three minutes. The floor is yours. Basi, fire. All right. Fire. All right. fire. Basi, I like, fire. I like, I like to make a rebuttal along the lines of federal character as raised by uh, co debater. Uh, section 15. Subsection 1, section 15, subsection 4. I just want to read out this directly from the Constitution itself. The state shall foster a feeling of belonging and involvement among the various people of the Federation to the end that loyalty to the national shall override sectional loyalty. The Constitution itself and its people is what is the bane of contention here. Where is national integration? When the Calabar man cannot become an FCT chairman? Where is national integration? Where an Igbo man cannot sell beer in Sokoto or in Kaduna or in Kano? Mm -hmm. oh, God, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. We are having. God bless you. The constitution of Nigeria, the supreme law of the land, direct that national integration to be encouraged and discrimination of every form, whether in religion, sex, ethnicity, should be prohibited. The, 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 the constitution itself has said so. But these things are not adhered to. I like to bring it to the knowledge of my co-debater. He also said South Africa, so let me begin with one of USC. I just wanted to just mm -hmm. correct there. He said six persons wrote uh, the constitution of USC. And that's very funny. Uh, at least we know that 39 people signed it, 39 delegates signed, that's more than six already. So let's, let's then South Africa had to ratify yes. the apartheid yeah, constitution. Let's remember, South Africa had to, had to replace the apartheid constitution at the end of apartheid in 1994. Why would you want to replace it if it if it was not bad? So my code beta has, has mentioned South Africa, but has forgotten that even South Africa itself had to make these changes that we are demanding that this document itself is a scam and therefore should be changed and replaced. You cannot build on nothing. Even a learned lawyer, I want to quote Chief. Uh, the former MBA oh, chairman who said the constitution itself needs total overhauling. The constitution itself needs total overhauling. As regards what um, my co debater said about the people's involvement in the in the in the, the supremacy of the people when they were building this document. Recently, in in Great Britain. There was an important question on whether Britain should remain a part of EU or not. 
the, um, the, then, the, the then Prime Minister at the time Parsi, around. Sorry to oh. in. Can you just hold that thought for a bit? It's just over three minutes. Um, you can have the chance to come in again and use that point for your closing statement. So now, uh, rebuttals addressed to those speaking for this motion. Um, Abi Bankole and Izuchuku Chukwemeka. As you've heard from those speaking against this, they've talked about how unfair the constitution is. You know, they've talked about education in terms of jump cut of max. They've talked about you know taxing. They've talked about the the slow how how slow they are in amending and how backwards the constitution seems to be taking the people. And now, um. I'm going to call on Abi now to address this motion or this points that have been made by Engineer Malcolm and Emmanuel Basi. And your rebuttal starts now. You have three minutes, Abi. Thank you, my uh, awesome moderator. And I thank my co debaters as well. You see, in the process of trying to speak for the motion, you more or less made my job very easy. I'll tell you why. Um, you said that in Zamfara, the people there are extracting resources there for the state. In other words, going against the constitution that we are pointing at. And I'm sure that both of us know that even in the South South, there are so many illegal, I won't call them illegal, I call them um, uh, indigenous um or refine, refineries so many of them i mean you i mean we know now and nobody i mean maybe there are some of them have been they, they lots of them are, you know, they, they arrest us for there they, they arrest us for there um comrade malcolm kindly allow the speaker yeah, speak you I'm have sorry. your time to speak at the end of the debate so that's Thank number you. one that even though the constitution says you know there's an exclusive and um, concurrently, the people are still getting away with a lot of things. Number two, let's talk about this federal character and my co-debater co saying that uh, a Calabar man cannot be the chairman of FCT or the senator in FCT. We are all alive, or we were all alive when six Southeasterners, six, six Igbo men became national or house of rep members in Lagos State. Six, not one, not two. If um, this were, if uh, that, if if that can happen, then it can happen anywhere. All you need to win elections in this country is the people's support. If that Calabar man has enough support in FCT, and the people voting for him are ready to protect him, he will win. If that's happened before; it will happen again, right? So again. One of my co debaters talked about national integration. There's nothing stopping national integration. Nothing inside the constitution says that we should not integrate. You know, so uh, I think my time is almost up, but I would just like to, you know, give a word of caution that let's not throw the baby out of the bathwater. This constitution we say is terrible, is the most successful constitution we've had 22 years, and we are still together. The perfect one that we had in 1963 could not even keep us for four years. That speaks volumes. We need to improve it. We cannot throw it in. Thank you. Thank you for that, Abiyo. I hope those speaking against are taking down the points. Um, the second speaker speaking against this motion, Chukumeka Uzuzuo, um, your three minutes starts now. Yeah, so I was having issues with my device. I had to log off and I lost most of the points. So when I came on, I had um, my co debater talking about South Africa. Um, that I made mention of um, South African constitution in error, right? I was not talking about the um, apartheid constitution that they were using, right? I'm talking, I'm making reference to the current constitution that they are using today. Right, go and go through their constitution that is working for them. What we have in Nigeria is far better than it, right? But I didn't work. Well. Most Nigerians can sell everything they have in Nigeria just to get a visa to South Africa. They're even chasing us from there to come home, but we are saying no, right? And he said uh, made mention about um, that I made mention of um USA constitution in error, my dear. 
just go back and do your research. The US Constitution was originally drafted by a team led by um, Madison, Madison Watts, and four others. They were the one that drafted this constitution and brought it out to the people after some um, dilly dally, right? Some, some faction was there like, well, we don't accept this. But along the long and um, everything now, they all signed it, right? So, and um, at that point I had when I joined that, he made mention of like the constitution is um, fair, but why can't, why is the jam cut off mark of? The person in um, from this state, how do you even put it? Why why is it jump cut off mark of some or someone from um, somewhere like okay, let me use an Ambra state less than the one from Zamfara, right? But we are missing the points here. Mm -hmm. This constitution is what we have, and these people in Anambra state elected democratically elected someone to represent them in the national assembly. Right, and the person in the National Assembly haven't said anything about this, right? And you are trying to make the constitution an issue. Like, let's stop going far from the point, right? The Nigerian constitution, like um, my um, um, co-debater um, prof said, is the best we've had so far since this whole Nigeria stuff started. The, the one that we are calling the best couldn't even get us up to five years. It crashed. So it's more of us, the people. How do we, how do, how, how, how do, how do, how, how do we work with the constitution? So my time is up. Thanks. Uh, thank you for those points, uh, Chukwe Mika. Thank you. And um, I would like to ask the speakers to prepare their closing statements. We have um, not much time left. And now to the audience, I'm, I'm going to start to um, call on those with their hands raised. Please, if you've got questions, contributions, however you want to express your views, raise your hands and I'm going to call you in order. Um, first on my screen is Infinix Note 8. I, I don't know your name. Please um, go ahead. If you're not quick to speak, I'm going to have to jump to the next person. And that means your slot for speaking has gone. So please, I would like for you to pay attention and concentrate in this meeting. Um, if you next note eight, I, if you're not going to speak, I'm going to have to call on the next person. Chuck, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. <clears throat> Thank you. So my question goes to those um, speaking against um, the constitution being uh, a serious um, <clears throat> a serious problem for the nation. So the constitution determines the prerequisites for amendment. However, its reality makes the possibility of making these changes inequitable. Do you think that is a good constitution or do you think that is a constitution that promotes uh, um, what, what do we call it? Uh, 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 does it promote um, amendment? And then the second part of that is um, the constitution does not make it impossible to go against. So they have no, there is no crafting of processes and procedures that make it almost impossible you know, for leaders within operating under the constitution to go against this constitution, which is there are no checkmates that have been imputed and structured to make sure that leaders cannot go against it. Do you think that that is a constitution that was crafted to work? Do you think that's a functional constitution that should lead people? That's Thank those are my two questions. Thank you, Chuck. And just remind the audience, you have just one minute for your contribution. Thank you, Chuck. I hope the speakers are paying attention and taking notes so they can address it later. DK Obona, um, the floor is yours. Thank you, Chuck. DK Obona, your mic is muted. If you got something to say. Uh, 
Um, all right. Um, next, iPhone. Oloye. Um, oh, Oloye, sorry. I'm um, DK. Okay. Go ahead. Well, can somebody just go before me? Let me do a handover. It's just two minutes. I'll all right. Oloye. Oloye, come in then okay. after the pick and come in. Okay. Well, it's that one minute. Wait, they give us now. Wow. I don't chop like 10 seconds out of my one minute now. But anyway, my quick, my quick one is that I, I agree I agree with the fact that our constitution is not our problem. Our representative are the problem. If you have people that are not representing you well, don't blame the constitution. There's no, that's why the English constitution, which is unwritten, helps them because they can continue to amend and continue to rewrite our constitution. But we have a written constitution. It does not stop us from amending, but we should not knock it down and say it is our problem. When you go, as uh, Commander Shukwemeka said earlier, and even Commander Bill has put it in law, if you go into this constitution, you will see so many things free education, free. You, we even entitled to a benefit if we, are, if we don't have work in that constitution. But are we fighting for these rights? No. But we are quick to sit down and listen to some people say they are intellectuals, lawyers. Forgetting that not every lawyer is a constitution lawyer because it does not mean because a lawyer means you know constitution. So when you're talking about constitution, it's because you have read about it, doesn't mean you have to be a lawyer. So these people are not giving us the truth. Go and read the constitution. Nigerian constitution, even though there's a lot of mumbo jumbo there because it was all cut and paste. But there's a lot of things that actually defend the poor and the people. And it's a very, very socialist constitution. It's not even a capitalist constitution is a socialist constitution. The last point I want to make on this is what Comrade Abe was saying earlier about um yeah the 1963 constitution lasted also only two three years um sorry Oloye, before you go mm -hmm. ahead um your one minute is up um thank you for your contribution um, oh, wow <laughs> um yeah we have to be strict with the timing otherwise um we go beyond the time set um next on my screen is um Ashabi Please go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I have some couple of questions I want to ask, and I'll try to be fast in asking them. I think um, the speaker said that um, people signed the constitution, came together to sign the constitution. I really want to ask which people came together. Like, I know my father didn't sign the constitution, and I know that most people's parents here didn't sign the constitution. So, which people came together to sign the constitution? I mean, realistically, I'm, I'm not saying the one they showed on TV. I mean, which people actually, because we have to understand that the people at that time didn't understand English. Majority of the people, they were colonized and the colonial master were leaving. And the system was quite very fresh. Um, another question, sorry, please, I wrote this down. Um, another question is, what were the intention of the leaders at that time that were forming this Nigerian party, a Nigerian country? Um, also, we have to understand that Nigeria is, like uh, Obafemi Awolowa said, is an expression of a geographical um, state. It's not a nation. The um, what is the culture of the people in Nigeria? Um, and also, how was this constitution changed? Like, I, I know that it was changed with so much um, force thank and you, oppression. Ashabi. Your time's oh my up. Um, I hope right, the speakers much. have noted the question. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. Thank you for the um, question. You <laughs> um, Dick Obuna, you can come in now. Your one minute starts now. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Sorry for the delay the first time. Yeah. So pretty quick, right? The Nigerian Constitution is our problem. There's no. There's no. There's no game saying about it. For for instance, if I do not accept the Constitution and I decide to go away with my people. It's called, um, I'm seeking self-determination or secession, right? The constitution already says we cannot, it's indissoluble, indivisible. You can't tell me it's indissoluble and indivisible. You cannot impose that on me. Now, when it comes to imposing that, who is actually imposing it? Is it these people that are imposing it on themselves or is it the government imposing it on us? So if it's the people that are trying to, in, try, trying to impose the non-secession thing, you find out that the government is on that side. But when is the government itself trying to impose it in terms of like IPOB and uh, the Yoruba people now who are seeking all that um, independence? For instance, IPOB have been tagged a terrorist group because they are going against the constitution. They're trying to divide the constitution. They're trying to divide a country that is indissoluble. 
there you find the government trying to implement it. When it comes to our, our individual rights, our human rights, you find us, you now say, someone now says that the people should be the ones to go to the government and implement their own human rights. You can't tell the government to, you can't, the people can't be the ones to force the government to obey the constitution. The government is already right. there to enforce the government. Thank you. I'd like we have to. Oh, GB, okay. Oh, boy, I'd, okay. I'd, I'd like oh, boy, to, Comrade Malcolm, Comrade Malcolm, please. I'd like <laughs> to call on the speakers to please pay attention to the chats. You know, we have um, reminders seconds before your time's up. So as soon as your time's up, please adhere to the instructions. Uh, next on the list of contributors, I see Famous Bernard. Um, please, the floor is yours. All right, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, um, this issue of constitution being the problem of Nigeria, the number one question that should come to our mind is, is it the entirety of the constitution, the whole document that we want it amended or we want it dumped and started drafting a new constitution or some parts of the constitution that does not benefit us that we want it amended? These are the questions we need to ask ourselves. Nigeria problem is not the constitution for me. If there are parts of the constitution, because this constitution was created in, in, uh, in 1999, Okay, if there are parts of this constitution that should be, okay, that you want it amended, these are in section nine of the constitution as amended, which talks about the modes of altering provisions of the constitution. You, you, the, and we have representative from every part of this, of, of this country that is representing the people in the national assembly. So if there are things like that, the representatives, they are the one that carry the problem of their own people to the National Assembly because the, the alteration of the of the constitution is in is in the powers of the National Assembly. So if we are talking about uh, okay we should change the constitution if we change the constitution we cannot change this constitution or we cannot just dump this constitution by May talking. We also pass it to those people and these are the people that are that is putting into problem. So the problem is not the documents. Is thank the, you, is, is our Thomas Bernard. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, sorry to butt in, but your one minute is up. Um, next is Amy Heidi. Please be very quick. One minute. The time starts now. Okay. Uh, uh, as regards our constitution being our problem, I think constitution is this Nigerian constitution that we are using presently. And even the sum up of all the constitutions that we've been using in Nigeria are just uh, a document given to us by our colonizers to follow. And our uh, Pompera said in his book, um, Pedagogy of the World, he said, <coughs> he said, there are oppressors in the making and there are oppressors. See, this, our, uh, co this document and the people handling the documents, I mean, the political elite, they, are, they were oppressors in the making when the colonizers are there and so the, you, you don't you don't expect anything good from these people even if you think the constitution is good and our representatives are bad our representatives are charged uh, with the responsibilities of making good things good for us so <clears throat> they can't make it good so the constitution is very bad the, rep the representatives are very worse so that's that's my conclusion thank you Amy Haibi unfortunately we are not going to be able to take any more contributions from the audience. It's one hour already. And that brings us to the end of this debate. Uh, before we end the debate, each speaker has one minute closing statement. And, and then that's it. And before, before we go with the speakers, I'd like to encourage everyone of us here to pay close attention to our groups, to our social media. We're going to have such debates like this from time to time. And hopefully we would have more time, you know, more than one hour, hopefully one hour, 30 minutes or two hours. And that gives us more time for people to contribute, for more speakers to express their views. And now for the closing statements of the speakers. Engineer Malcolm, you have one minute. Please adhere to the timing. Thank you. Engineer Malcolm, if you're not there. Yes, please, one minute. Yes. I'm here, I'm here. One minute, please. I know the talk past one minute. Thank you. The, the story is plenty. I don't talk past one minute. Hello? Hello? I don't talk past one minute. 
the truth I say, the cruise way Oyibo don't give us, it happen for Lekki. If the constitution they strong, we will go down they free. Thank God say Lekki don't confess say the constitution and story. Thank you very much, my co-speakers and my other brothers. Thank you, all of you. You people have tried. God bless you. We keep on MOP, Movement of the People. God bless everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you for that, for keeping it very short. I appreciate it. Um, Imran Obasi, over to you. Yeah, thank you. Um, I just wanted to ask, someone asked, um, is it partly or wholly? What do we really want about this constitution? You see, our security is the first responsibility of government. If this is not provided, Section six, I, I, I sent something to the group right now. I, 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 could, I just came to my mind then. Section six says option 6D. In, in to, in, to interpret it, what 6D was saying there is that every right you have as, as written in chapter two of the constitution, you cannot, you cannot take it, it cannot be determined in court. It cannot be determined in court. So definitely section chapter two was, telling you about your fundamental rights and chapter, uh, section C was telling you cannot actually, it cannot be determined in court. Now this, if this is not enough reason, I don't know what is, when a nation cannot keep faith with justice, it's hard to achieve unity. So I, I, I don't think with the way we are looking at this constitution, if you look at it clearly, we can actually achieve unity. Not merely chanting these slogans, one Nigeria, doesn't is not it. Look at the constitution very well, and you see these loopholes. Right. This, this thank you, Emmanuel Bazi. Guide us thank properly. You. One minute out. Thank you for that. And now thank on you. to um, the other speakers, Abi Bankole, please. On one minute, the floor is yours. Yes. Is our current constitution good enough? No. It's probably a very very bad document. So what's the pathway to getting that good or perfect constitution. It's for us, the people, to organize, look for the people within our communities that we trust to represent us properly and angrily and aggressively vote them into power and protect our votes. Once you put those people in the positions of power, that constitution you desire will emerge because the will will be there and they will work with you that they serve to give you that constitution. The people working together to solve their problems is the solution. Um, the constitution is a piece of paper created by human beings. Everything in it can change if the human beings do the right thing. Right now, we are doing it wrong. Let's do it right, and you get the constitution that you deserve. Thank you. Thank you, Abiy Bankoli, nice and concise. Thank you for that. And last, but lastly, um, Shukwe Meka Izuzuo, the floor is yours. One minute, please. Yeah, let me use this my one minute to spare shout out to um prof, right? So it was a debate personally. I learned a lot from I learned a lot from this night's discussion, right? And I want to point out something that um my co-debater said. He highlighted some page um a page from the constitution, and he was like that. Is this not enough reason for us to say that constitution is this or that? My dear, if I have a rat in this my room now, and I'm very scared of rats, I can't set my room on fire to kill that rat, right? It's just, it's just maybe one page, two pages of so many other good things that you can activate there to make your society better, right? So, yeah. Our constitution is far from our problem. Let's organize, like Prof said, come together, work together. And I believe with MOP Sunday, we get there. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chukwemeka. It's been wonderful, you know, points shared, ideas, 
um, expressed, a lot of learning, and let's come together and do more of this. And right now, I'm going to call on my co-host, Jeffrey, for to round off this debate session. Uh, I don't know about you all, but I enjoyed this session. It was really, really enlightening to do this again as soon as possible. Uh, I want to thank you all for attending, for those who stayed from beginning to end, for those who joined halfway. We thank you all for the support. This is the very first debate we have organized, and the turnout encouraging. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you all for uh, your input. You could see that we couldn't take everyone's uh, suggestion, but you know, as MOP, it's our award. Uh, Jeffrey, I greet you. Thank you too. Thank you. Try. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we set mm -hmm. a time. I as MOP, as MOP uh, we like to keep to our word. That's why you see, regardless of who it was, we had to set the time. And this is what we do as a movement. Whatever we say, yes. we try to keep to it. And this is what we do. And uh, we urge you all to, like I said before, follow our social media. Very soon, for sure. Please let us know the uh, process of participation. And then uh, if you want to be a speaker or a debater, just let us know. I will let you know how to incorporate uh, yourself. If you have not joined MOP, please, please, please do so and if you're here you remember thank you very much uh, for your attendance and don't forget to be active in your various committees because we have a lot of work to do as we can see from this debate there's a lot of work to be done so if you have not uh, for mop to be used in, this is a clarion call for you join us and there's a lot to do and let's get this thing done and let's move nigeria forward thank you everybody thank you my host uh, well, me they done a great job and very much. Fantastic, Jeffrey. Thank you for that. And everyone, this is the end of the debate. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. Well done, guys. Good evening. Bye. Bye. All right. Take care, guys. Bye, y'all. Are you ready? Nice to see some faces behind the names. What is this? Don't be doing this cruise for me.